Paul, over four full quarters against Melbourne, but the last quarter was sensational. Four goals. Yeah, it's a, it's quite a buzz. I mean, just the whole uh, the whole atmosphere of the day and the, the supporters getting right behind us and and managing to kick, kick a few goals myself was just uh, made the day a, a wonderful one. Were you uh, surprised when uh, Coach Northy put Steins down to full back? Oh, look, I suppose you get so focused on the way the game's going and you know you've got a chance that uh, at that stage, I, I didn't really notice he was on me until uh, very late in the game. Uh, maybe that's silly, maybe it's not, but you're very wrapped up in your own job you've got to do. So I was, I was surprised to an extent, but then again, when, if you're a coach of a side that you know, who's worked so hard to win the game all day and it looks like getting run over, then you're going to try anything, aren't you? Well, I noticed you were very excited after the game. Was that one of the best wins you've been involved with at Essendon? Oh, it would have to be. It would certainly have to be to come back from that position. It was just such a buzz. Not so much that you know I kicked a few goals myself, but you know to see the the look of uh, you know real intent in the guys' faces. They knew they could do the win the game, and uh, to, you know as the, the last quarter progressed, and then after the game, it was just you know one one in all. In you know we all really deserved uh, the victory uh, uh, just based on our performance in that last quarter. Did you have a few after the game? One or two, mate. Not many. You know me. Well, Derek, were you surprised when uh, Coach Kevin Shooty uh, placed you at full back? Uh, yeah, I was surprised, um, but I've been playing the half-back flank and in the back lines uh, you know, throughout my career, and I was more or less uh, just when Sheed said to play full back, uh, I didn't sort of worry about it. I just went there. Just well, the longer the game went, the better you played, but that one mark, that crucial mark uh, near the finish of the game when you hit the goalpost, did you think you'd hung on to it long enough? Yeah, well, I knew that I marked the ball. Uh, that's why I got straight up to take the kick, and uh, I didn't see the umpire. You know, I didn't, I didn't hear the whistle blow or the goal umpire signal any anything. Lucky you didn't hit it with your head, huh? Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, you had about eight or nine tackles for the game, from my memory, but that last one, the 27-minute mark into the last quarter on Bryce, 50 metres out from goal. What was going through your mind? Oh, I didn't know. It just happened so fast and suddenly I got the free and I was 50 metres out and I was looking to pass it off. But I didn't, didn't know whether I could make the distance. I, I guess there might have been a bit of wind there behind me that helped me, I think. Well, you missed a few earlier, didn't you? Yeah, I, yeah, I missed a few qu quite easy ones, yeah. So when you put it through, did you, uh, did you think in your own mind that uh, it was time enough? You were in front and the sign would go shortly? I wasn't too sure. I couldn't believe it. I didn't know whether we it, were in front or behind, but I guess we, I looked at the scoreboard and we were, so I was delighted. Happy with the win? Oh, very good win, yeah. Good team effort, I'd say. Very much. Well, at half-time, 45 points down, 41 points at three-quarter time, Bomber, and three minutes into the last quarter, a goal by Melbourne put you 47 points down. What were your thoughts then? Well, I think just at three-quarter time, Sheed said uh, if you get the f first couple of goals after the break, uh, you're always going to be in it. And uh, it's amazing football nowadays, how I can turn around one, in one quarter, we play one good quarter and end up win winning the game. It's, uh, that's just the way football is. But to kick eight goals in the last quarter, surely Shooter himself must have thought it ha would have to be a miracle. Yeah, but you just got to keep positive, don't you? You know, that's uh, that's uh, our, our, one of our greatest skills this year. We've really come home well, and uh, if you if you know in your mind that you can do it, and you go out and you know you, you got a fair start, and uh, I think the boys really believe they could, and we were kicked the first couple of goals. They kicked the first goals, but when we sort of came home, it was just a great effort and good character builder for the players. So it's the old story, uh, bummer. It's never over until the final siren. Oh, football's an incredible game. I've never ever played in a game like that, and. Uh, it was just extraordinary our comeback, and to be part of it, it's just, it's just really great. As captain, you must have been a very proud man on, si on Final Siren. Yeah, I think it's got a lot to do with character, you know, and uh, for a side to come back and do that at three-quarter time to be so far down, it's, it, it takes a lot of character, and uh, hopefully we can use it this year to our advantage and really flow on from that, that win. A lot of people rooting for you, didn't you? Yeah, the whole ground, uh, playing at the home ground too, at the MCG, it, uh, it makes a lot of noise. I'd, I'd hate to play with it uh, filled up because uh, there was only 41,000 people there on the weekend and they made a lot of noise. So when there's 100,000 people there and it's going to get a close going with that, it's really going to put out a bit of noise. Well, Gregor was a pretty hard battle right across the centre on Saturday, wasn't it? Yeah, it certainly was. Uh, you know, both sides getting plenty of the possessions and, uh, you know, it was, it was a good battle. Now, what about you? You spent a bit of time on the interchange bench. Yeah, I hurt my uh, hurt my ankle uh, late in the first quarter, and I spent a bit of time uh, after that first quarter break, um, you know, getting it treated. I suppose you're dying to get back into the action when they were getting so close. Well, well, too true. I didn't think I was going to get get back on, and uh, you know, when I did during the uh, you know the start of the third quarter after half time, um, you know, I'm so pleased that I never missed that last quarter.
one of the best wins you've been part of at Essendon? Oh, probably my career. It was yeah. just uh, it was just an absolutely fantastic feeling, just to uh, you know, just I suppose steal the game, you know, by just that one point. It was great. Now, what about the coach Shooty? What did he have to say after the match? Well, well, he said a lot, but you know, the one thing that always stick in my mind, he um, and he's played, he's uh, coached uh, premiership sides and uh, you know also not premiership sides, and you know he said that that's one of the greatest wins that uh, he's had to do with at the Essendon Footy Club, and that uh, that means a lot. Never short of a word, Shooty, is he? Never short of a word. No way. <laughs>